At this region here, what I'm going to do is uh, create my own alignment and tell the software to adopt uh, that alignment for the uh, horizontal geometry of the curb return. So the line work is displayed, so uh, I can see the edge of bitumen of Alba, and I can also see the edge of bitumen of Humble. What I'm going to do to start off with is draw a polyline for the alignment. And when I draw it, I uh, tend to draw a straight bit just at the start, just to help the software uh, match back into the side road. I'm then going to draw in some arcs. And then when I match back in to the edge of bitumen, I'm just going to draw that straight section. So as I said, the, the straight section just helps the software fit the curb return in and, and match it back into the main road or the side road. When you draw um, the alignment, don't just end it uh, uh, like this. Always draw a, a straight section that's nice and sort of parallel to the, the center line of the side or the main. It just helps the software match it in. Now if I zoom up, um, you can see that I haven't actually exactly matched it over the edge of bitumen. The software will actually resolve that for me and uh, connect it in uh, properly. So I've drawn the polyline in. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is turn this into a civil 3D alignment. So I'm just going to use create alignment from objects. The first thing uh, you need to make sure you do is create the alignment. Um, the alignment direction must be the same as the flow of traffic. So uh, this is important. So the direction of the alignment is in the direction of traffic. I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call this new curb. Next important thing is to add a K dash to the description. So um, this means that this alignment will be recognized as a curb return alignment and when I go and create the curb uh, it'll be uh, available in the specify list. So if I click OK um, the alignment has been created. Uh, what I generally do is go to the geometry editor for this curb return and uh, you can see that my curves are fixed uh, curves uh, which means that they're they're not constrained or not tangent. So what I generally do is go in and make these curves free curves, which means that they'll be constrained by the, uh, the previous entity and the, uh, the, uh, the next entity. So that'll fix up any tangency issues you might have um, uh, for the geometry. So now that uh, my alignment's created with the uh, K dash and the ends are, are nicely matched in, what I'm going to do is go back to the roads panel, no, roads tab, and select curb return. And this time I'm going to pick on this area. And rather than using one of the standard ARD templates, I'm going to select on specify. And you can see that my new curb alignment is listed in here. So if I select on create update, that intersection uh, or curb return um, has been formed and it's adopting that alignment that I had created. If I head over to the active drawing settings, there are two options here. One is called matching codes for curves and the other one is called intersection through code. The matching code for curves is the code that the software uses to match in the uh, horizontal and vertical geometry to the road. So at the moment I've, uh, I'm working off the edge bitumen, but for whatever reason you might decide to work off another code to form the, uh, the curb return shape. The intersection code is a code that uh, passes through the intersection here. And this has also been set to edge, to edge of bitumen, so it's the edge of bitumen code that uh, passes through the intersection. For whatever reason, you might want to set that to um, uh, uh, the invert or lip or whatever um, and have another code running through the intersection. So that's how you can go about creating um, a curve return by using uh, your own alignment 